All right, we're going to be doing a grapevine wreath today, and I'm using a goose. And I spruced them up some. I was going to put them in a tobacco basket, but I think I'm going to do them this way for fall in a grapevine. And then come closer to Christmas, then I will do him in the um, tobacco basket. So he's actually, I made this myself, cut it, paint it. Um, I decided to add the word welcome to him. Okay, and we're going to mount him directly to the wreath here. This is an oval wreath, and this is about a 22 inch oval grapevine wreath which you can get in any store. I happened to get mine, I think at Sims is where this one came from. I attached tinsel dye to the back, I stapled it, and I used the tinsel tie that's closest to the color of the, the wreath base so we can disguise it and you won't see it. Still nobody's going to say hi and how you doing and all that stuff. No? You guys just get up from a nap? <laughs> yes, I do, Linda. It has not been put in my Etsy shop yet, but it should be in there by tomorrow. Um, I did post a link. I'm not allowed to say S-H-O-P. So I'm going to say Etsy Boutique. It's just another word that they're censoring us on. So, but yes, he will be in there tomorrow. There's a limited supply of five. Is all I have made right now. But I'll tell you what, I love ducks and geese. I think they're very primitive. I think they're very country. I think they're just downright cool looking. And if you want, I will also um, staple the tinsel tie to the back for you. But that might run into an issue depending on what size wreath you're using. Hi, Kathy. Welcome. Trying to get our goose. Here's our goose so far. This is one that I made. I took my um, brother scan and cut, which is the, like a cricket or a silhouette, and I put the words welcome on the front here. Um, he's got a little bell and some ragged ribbon. And I'm hoping to use that ribbon on the wreath. There. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. So my plan is to put a smaller bow up top and some greenery coming downward. Hi, Susan. No, I didn't even see your goose picture, Z. <laughs> this is an item I've had and I've been trying to figure out what to do with them. And I thought, this is awesome. He can be a Christmas goose or he can be a, a fall welcome, right? Did you send me pictures? I know, right, Linda? That's all right. Keep an eye on my Etsy boutique because there are going to be some really neat country um, signs coming up. I love country and primitive. In fact, that's the way most of this area decorates, okay? So, I know I've used this so many times lately. Um, we use this on the apple blossom. But I just love this ribbon. It is so country. And this is also in my Etsy boutique. I think there's one left of the, um, the two and a half inch. And I think there's like ten left of the one and a half inch. Oh, you lucky dog, you, Susan. 
So I think I'm going to incorporate this in the wreath. I always like to put something black in the wreath, and I'm, I'm just loving this. This just, just goes so nice with this. All right, but we need two more colors. So I think we'll go with a burgundy because a lot of my flowers have burgundy in it. And then I think we need to go with a lighter color. And I may, I don't know, that's kind of, what am I gonna use? I thought I had everything figured out here. Nope, we need something lighter. And we need it narrow. Nope, that's gonna match that too much. Too matchy matchy. Mm. throw this in there. We could throw this in there. <laughs> I'm answering myself now, right? All right, so we're going to start out with a small bow at the top, and then like I said, we're going to have some greenery down here. I do have all kinds of stuff from Michael's. Um, this is from Sims. I use this a lot as filler in my grapevine wreaths because I like the fact that it has brown on the tips. So that just kind of pulls everything in. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and use this. Then we'll use this. Like that. Then we'll use this. And then we will use this. That way I'll get my black in there. And it won't look so matchy matchy. And I could even throw this in there. So let's try those colors. So I'm not I'm not liking that too much. Alright, let's go ahead and start. I think we're gonna use this as the first one. And then we'll use that as the second. That is the third, fourth. That's Christmas. I don't know what that's doing in there. So let's move this out of the way. We're going to just make a small bow for the top. Okay. Where is my... Aha! My new bow, Dabra. Hey, Misty! Okay, that's fine, Z. Thanks. All right. This is what we're making. For those of you that just joined us, I made this goose. And for fall, we're going to put them on a grapevine. Then for Christmas, we're going to do them in a tobacco basket. So we're going to start with this one. Because this is the season that's, that's here. And I think I'm going to do like an 8-inch um, tail. And I'm not going to go very big. One. Now we do need to go just a little bit. All right, so we're doing like a 10 inch tail. And then I'm doing like a nine inch loop. And by nine inch, I only mean like three or four and a half. All right, because it's nine inches and then I fold it in half. Hello, Faye, how are you? <coughs> Excuse me. doing good today staying cool and I remembered my big scissors yes Goes upstairs now he will be in my Etsy boutique tomorrow and he's limited there's only five Somebody was in my boutique last night, and boy, they cleaned out the bargain bins. Wow. I had a shipment go out this morning. 
All right, I think I'm going to do one up and one down. Can you see it all? That darn phone has been ringing all day. These people have anything better to do than bug me. If I don't see your comments, I will go back at the end and go through. All right, so I'm going to do two of this. Again, it's like an eight inch. I know I'm, I'm overusing these colors lately, but I can't tell you how much I love these colors. And for the country design, they really blend in nice. And like I said, I'm just doing a small bow up here. Okay, let's go for our, our burgundy. So, where are you from, Faye? And somebody else was new. And Linda, where are you guys from? Gals. I don't always say guys. That's, that's wrong. Just wanted a little pop of that color in there and then we're going to use our one and a half inch moss with the burgundy and the cream color and I'm just going to do two because I just want a little pop there we go. and then we will do just one of these but I will use this to cover my um let me grab it here oh okay what's the weather like there and I take a piece those of you that watch me all the time pull out the wire. I fold it in three. So I bring one end over and then the other end over top of that. I need my zippy tie. Better get out too because we're going to do two wreaths. Alright. And need some of our tinsel tie. This is really nice because it blends in really well with the um, with the wreath base. Oh that's not too bad. I have got a cut on my finger and, and it lets me know every time. Move this stuff out of the way. There we go. I go Dabra over here. do some spreading here. How did that one get so long? Now, let's see. Trying to fix it. There it is. And this one I can pull out here. There we go. There we go, much better. 
Oh, now I squished it. I want this down. going up. And of course, we have to, well, I lost my little piece of, I'll just make a new one so you can watch me do it again. Ooh. Okay, you cut a piece of ribbon you pull down and pull the wire out, push down and pull the wire out. You fold it three times and then you come back to your bow and see what you're doing? You're putting it in the middle and then we're going to tie it in the back. So we're going to disguise the zip tie. No plastic will be seen. And then just trim off the excess. There we go. It's probably better if I put it on the wreath. Then we'll be able to fluff it better. So let's do that. And with tinsel tie, it's pretty easy to feed it through. It's sturdier. If you guys wouldn't mind spreading the love, because we can't say the S-H-A-R-E word. Uh, you're gonna have us insane by the time they're done making all these rules. did clean it off, but there's still a few little squigglies. Now if I want to, I can take this, and I have this on here secure enough, and I can take the two ends, see the two ends here, and we can do this several times, and that can create the loop, the hanger, for our wreath. Okay? All right, now let's let's do this. Oops, we got some. I think I'm gonna cut these a little bit shorter. Eight inches wasn't short enough, so I don't want it to take over. I just want it to visually be there, but not. I want that over there. So I've got one going up, one coming down. This one we're going to shorten again. We've got one going up, one coming down. Actually, we're going to go off to the sides with that one. There we go. more trimming. You could actually take this into Christmas the way it is right now with these colors. They're fall and they could be a country Christmas.
will trim this. All right, so we've got the top though, and I think I cleaned it ahead of time. All right, so we've got this up here. Now we're going to start by putting some greenery up here. going to dry fit it for right now. See if that's where I want it to go. Pretty sure it is. But what's nice, like I said, this green greenery has brown tips on the end. Okay. Now, I may this says mini bundle. I may put this underneath. Because I think that'll go, yes. Because this kind of blends in a little, if I use this underneath, it'll make that pop on top. Pop on top. All right. First, we gotta get rid of the tag. Or we want to go in with that. Let me just add some of this. This is like a, it says Gerber bush. They don't look like Gerbers. And got that in there. And then I think, not sure if I'm going to add some cotton in there or not. Maybe just one. Yeah. And then I have some of these. Not liking that. I have some pussy willows. No jokes, please. Nope, that doesn't look great with that. I also had one piece of this, which I think I'm gonna put that down there. Let me see what else we got. Dips. I know they sell these at um, Michael's. I did see them today, but I knew I had some at home. So I'm thinking like to make it look a little more woodsy. Yeah, that's what we need. I don't think we need that big. Hey, Dawn, how are you? We're making a goose grapevine wreath. And this guy's going to be in my Etsy boutique tomorrow. I handmade those. Yeah, I just want a, like a little bit of woodsy feel in there. Okay, so I basically have it the way I want it. So let's go ahead and glue it. All right, so first we're going to start with this greenery this leaf. Okay. There we go. 
go. Then we're gonna put some of this on top of it. You guys wouldn't mind spreading the love I would appreciate it. have any pieces with three flowers on one stem. Just two. So I think we will start pressing my flowers before I put them on stuff. all the way down and then put our piece of cotton in here to kind of like that better all right so let's put our cotton in there y'all with me One of these on this side and one on the other side. Put that one up in there further. Good flower popped off. Kind of want these with different heights, lengths. think I'm gonna put that in there this is just filler it's a little bit lighter than the other greens I think it'll tie everything in there together a lot nicer and fill in that little empty spot there we go then we're gonna take these sticks and we're gonna get these in here Got one of these we don't want all three. So I think we'll go one here. Just to give it some woodsy appearance. So, let's see, it's lighter than the grapevine. I think I'm going to trim this one because I don't want anybody coming to the door and poking their eye out. <laughs> Good. 
you with me? Hello. There we go. And we're gonna cut this on like an angle. I know Missy does grapevines. Does anybody else do grapevines? Sometimes they can be challenging. always get them to go where you want them to go. Now, I thought this was kind of interesting. So, I'm just not sure how well it's going to hold. So, it'll be just too droopy to add. This is very fine. Maybe not. that in there too. Really? That's interesting. Now do you sell your wreaths online? Have you done a live? And then, I think, yeah, I think it has to be another piece of this. Trim this. I'm trying to get like a real woodsy effect going on here. Do you mostly do country? right there. Needs something. working for me. That looks better. Okay. Let's go to 
to the other side. I'm just thinking. <clears throat> Tags are stronger than the flowers. It's not good. Really? Well, there you go. That's a good idea. Sure, florists are always looking for something. I'm not liking this side. I'm liking this side better. So I may end up taking the other side apart. Now, I think what we'll do is we're going to cut one of these off. And cut some of this off. And that was still too long. I want to stagger them in they're not they're too long the way they are there well if ever you get up the nerve let me know so we can share it. There. I like that better. This is just too much. I think we need one flower. Just one. One more over here. Like that better. Nope. I have to steam these flowers. They're driving me insane because they're so pushed down. All right. We need a little bit of this back there. So we're going to put some of that in there. Okay. 
Okay, like that much better. So we are going to pull this out. Not liking that. I like that combination better. All right. This brown leaf is not looking right in there. Okay, so we got our three there, so we're going to trim this and trim this and trim this. going to put this in there. Yes, much better. Sometimes you just got to work it. So we got like three flowers. Now we need, all right, let's take this out because I want to do it in pieces that in there, like that, aw, thank you, that's so sweet, and then this down here, and that in there, all right, now I'm on a roll. a hole here so I think we will yes put that there so basically I'm alternating the greens got the darker green on the bottom and I'm adding the lighter green in the top here see it so we got the darker green and then I just added little sprigs of the lighter green and I'll do the same thing here because that'll fill in that space. And then we'll start on the bottom. So we've got like three flowers, some greenery, and some cotton. And the two types of greens. liking that better. And then we will still add some of these sticks in here. I just that this leaf was just too too flimsy. So we'll add one there and one there. I'm not trying to ignore everybody. Sometimes when I get in the zone, I just have to keep going. <laughs> and sometimes it takes me a while to get in the zone. And I think, ooh, we didn't do the shake test. That one wasn't attached. Yes. I think we need one more of this here. This is just filler that I got from Sims. There, right there. Yes. Do you do that with your wreaths? Where you put something in and then you just go back and rip it all out? I like that better. All right, to balance, we need one more over there. Y'all must be working on something else. Or you're at work and you're not allowed to say much. <laughs> Nobody's talking today. 
What the hey? All right. I think we need two more pieces of our sticks. I do it a lot. I'll do a live, and then after the live, I go back, and then I take it apart. <laughs> Sometimes I'll hit record and record what I did, and then other times I'll just come back the next day, and we'll do another one, and I'll show you how I did it. Just for a little contrast. so far. And now we'll get to work on the bottom. But we'll make our bow for the bottom so then we know where we want to place all our greenery and such. There. Okay. on the bottom. Actually, you know what we're going to do? I think we're going to use this on the bottom. So I've got about a 10 inch tail. And about a 6 inch loop. That's like chalk on a chalkboard, isn't it? with the maroon we're just switching it up I'm doing it about a finger smaller than the previous row of loops going to do four three then we will go to this
turn this around so we've got two tails on this side. I think we're going to go with this one. We're going to start over this side and we're going to do three. Then we are going to pull the back color to the front in the smaller. Why not? Because we can. <laughs> and we're just going to do one. That made it different from the top one. So gave it a little pop. guys leave me? Am I still on? Come on, tell me a little bit about yourselves. Let's see. Okay, I'll start. I'm the grandmother of four, five, six, two this year. I have three stepdaughters, two sons. Been married almost... 32 years? Jeez. Yeah, 32 years. To a great guy. I swear, when you get married the second time, you kind of... Not that first marriages aren't good. I'm not saying that. It's just sometimes it takes you a while to get it right. So... How many of you have kids? How many of you have grandchildren? How many of you adore your grandkids? I know Missy has grandchildren. Missy did an awesome live the other week where she just sat there and chatted got to know everybody and I think everybody had a great time in fact I know we had a great time hey Esther how are you dear everybody got real quiet on me come talk to me girl you done any gnomes lately I have to do some and I just haven't gotten around to it We're doing a grapevine with a goose that I made. We did the top of it already. Now we're doing the bottom. We're going to put a bow on the bottom and then we're going to put some more greenery around. So how's your basement? You tell her. You know what you do? You go live on your regular page, not your business page. You go live on your regular page, your personal page, because you know everybody on there and you know they already love what you do. And they're your biggest cheerleaders. That's what you do. First time I went live, I almost threw up <laughs> I've burned myself on a live I've cut myself on a live let's see what else have I done on a live now I just look at it as though hey you're there I'm entertaining you for the hour and whatever 
I love seeing all my friends and family. Okay, Linda has two children and four grandchildren. Married 40 years. I've been crafting since I was a teenager. I love it. And my, that is awesome. That is really awesome. I've been crafting since I was a teen also. And did you sew? Because a lot of people our age, they sewed. I made my own prom gown with matching purse. I mean, we got to clip this. We don't need that in there, do we? Okay. Oh, no. That's torture. Esther lives in Canada, and she got a flooded basement where all her crafting stuff is. I thought by now you'd be back up and running, girlfriend. That sucks. Probably that's one word I shouldn't say, huh? Oh, well. That's all right. Peg was on here the other day, and she told me if I got... If I was sent to Facebook jail, they would pass around the hat and get me out. <laughs> yes, that really stinks. All right, so we've got our bottom bow. Oops, we got some dovetails to do. And then let's finish this baby. Okay. Why does that look crooked? There we go. Now it does look. Sorry, I don't mean to be waving that in your face. There we go. I'm knocking ribbon over my computer. All right, so now let's get some of this out again. And let's kind of get this going upward. I just love this as filler because of the coloring. It has a natural curve to it, so it's nice. It just curves right up the wreath. And I think what I have to do is, all right, I'm going to chop this off right there, okay, because we're going to stagger it. So for all one, we're going to put one here, and then the one we cut off, we're going to put here. And let's take some of this. Actually, I don't think we need any a third bundle. I think we do it like that. Yes. Okay. Whoa. I need that. I imagine it is. I've pretty much taken over down here in our basement, so. And I did have some water get down here, but it wasn't as bad as yours. And that's just awful. daughters do you have Esther too? I know you have the younger one.
stand up. in half and stagger these. bothering me that these are like come in twos. Why do they not come in threes? Maybe what I'll do is cut one leaf off and I'll make my own threes. Okay, and you're not married, right? But you have a, a boyfriend, right? Sometimes you gotta fix it. It's too far down. There we go. And put one of these in there like that. And then we'll fill in with these. And then we're done. for down here, but I don't think I'm going to put that in. I'm not liking it. There's two. I'll add a third. Bring this up. That's awesome. flower. Make our three. And then filler. Look at that. We just had enough. So, this one there. This one over here. And that one there. Oh, we're done. I just have to do some gluing. All right, let me hold it up. What do you think? And like I said, he'll be in my Etsy store tomorrow. Hey, Carol. 
I'm just so hot on this ribbon. I just, oh my gosh, I just love these colors. I promise, this is the last one I'll make with this ribbon. <laughs> I gotta stop. I'm addicted to it. It's funny, Carol used to come and help me in the beginning when I first started decorating on my own. And who knew? Oh, thank you, Linda. Yay, I can't wait. That'd be awesome, Esther. There we go. And you know, I've told a few this. I have still have not listed a wreath in my in my Etsy boutique. And I plan on it today. I have two that I'm going to put in there um, right now. If you haven't become a member of my other um, Facebook page, Robin's Wreath Signs and More, I would suggest doing it. There's a coupon code in there for my Etsy boutique. And the bargain bins were restocked again yesterday. Um, there was one lady who was in there last night. She bought eight items from the bargain bin. <laughs> Actually, I think there's like three or four bargain bins. Hey, Vicki. And yeah, she, she almost emptied one of them. So I went back in and filled in some more. I just love this goose. He was my own. I cut that myself. I sanded it. I painted it. Um, I had originally had a star on here. And I decided to put the word welcome on there. And what we'll do come Christmas is we will do one with the, um, the tobacco basket, which will be a nice, a nice uh, change. There we go. How's that? I need to add a piece of cotton over here. But this is like by far my absolute favorite ribbon. What did I do? Lose one already? I did. I think we need one up like up in here more there I knew right that is my absolute favorite Vicki yes and I don't I, I was thinking about putting some pissy willows in there but I'm, I, they just they take the coloring into in a different direction so I'll do the shake test. I'll make sure everything. Um, there's my other piece of cotton. <laughs> there it is. I got to get that in here. So, yeah. All right. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Um, watch for me next Tuesday. I will be on at 7. Um, Willie will be on at 6, um, so Tag Team Tuesday, next Tuesday, and this guy will be in my Etsy store for uh, tomorrow, and there's only five, so, all right, you guys have a great evening, thanks for stopping by, thanks for spreading the love, and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon, all right, have a good night. Bye-bye.